Uh, Kevin Eckert can't stand him. We our next match here. This is going to be the iceberg. number one contender yep. for the world's championship and the right to main event, the biggest show of the year, Collision Course 7. Even being in the main event itself is a big accomplishment. James Light was there last year. Yep. James Light wants to make an impact again. We see him early tonight. He didn't like what Armstrong was doing, and he wants to go for this. He wants to go for the world championship and gain the one, number one contendership in this match against Iceberg. Everybody knows Iceberg has never won at Collision Course, and he just seems to flounder in when it comes to Collision yeah. Course time. Let's see if he can change that luck this year. Well, he has Eric with him. Eric says that luck is going to change. The backup of his brother. The fans really have taken a liking to Iceberg. That stupid bounce. Who the heck cheers for a bounce? Eric, get those fans rowdy. Get those fans rowdy. But when it's coming from a good guy, it's great. Who says he's a good guy? What? He rescued those people from the burning apartment. I think it was a burning apartment complex. So what? So that's good. Rescuing is good. No. Of course it is, Tomahawk. Eating potato yeah. chips on a Sunday is good. The oh, fans have night. a fecal chant going on. Oh, that was our first fecal chant into the night anyway. Yeah, they go crazy over that bounce. Okay, that's enough, Eric. You don't want those fans to mob you. Yep, yeah, I think Eric's getting them overly wild. Well, at least our crowds aren't as bad as ECW crowds. Yeah, then we might have some spilling into the ring right about now. And th and throwing all kinds of kitchen appliances, too. That's just good for this no is one. for my strong ice men and my fine ice women out there in the crowd. Oh, he's giving a bounce to them. A show, a show of respect from Iceberg, his way of showing it. And then there's our second people chant of the night. I don't get it, Tom Smith. I guess I'm just going to have to have some kind of physics professor explain it to me. Maybe. How do people bounce? Well, Iceberg definitely knows how. And the fans love it. They can't get enough of that. They got to have the bounce. I guess so. Well, there, he's just out there to torture me with it. He's dedicating it to a strong ice man and his fine ice women. I'm sure he probably has a lot of fine yeah, ice you, women. You, your, your wife is probably one of them ice women, isn't she? Maybe so. I think she's an iceberg fan. She's just frosty. Oh. I wouldn't say that. And glazed in the wrong places. I'm not going to comment on that one. That's her. As for some time and utter place. <laughs> you, can, you can come out to the bar with me, Alexander Morton, and try to pick up chicks. That's all right. I am happy as I am. If I let Morton come with me. I think Morton's the one that gets you in those high pricey bars. I'm not going to go there and drink Zima with Tom Smith. <laughs> and would that be our third fecal chant of the night if we're keeping tally? I don't, I don't know when the chants stop and when they start. It's just been like, almost like a continuous one. I think it's trading off between sections of the crowd. They can't, they can't get enough of it. It's like the holy fecal matter wave. He's started by Eric, Iceberg's brother. What a retard he is. What makes him a retard? Yeah, well, He's perfectly normal to me. He's not showing enough respect to this man, the most retarded wrestler in NWF history. We don't know what's happening with James Light. He turned his back on Armstrong. Well, that's the first good thing he's ever done, but I still don't like this James Light. Where is he now? 
seven inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds, from Lacrosse, Wisconsin, James Ryan. And this is big match for both men. Well, if that isn't the understatement of the century, the main event in collision course, that's no big deal. Christ. I don't know what we did, but I'm prepared for you. I'm prepared. I think the only time that we could probably get you in the ring is if we gave you a shot to be in the main event. You, you, even you would probably have to take that opportunity. Maybe I'll try for it, but it depends against who. It doesn't matter I'll who. I'll Paul Heyman. It doesn't matter who. You get a chance to win the, be in the main event of Christian Course, you go for it no matter what. Well, if it's against hypnosis or someone like that, I value my life. I gotta value my life. I wanna live to the next day. So this, of course, is every wrestler's life. Everybody in the wrestling business lives for that one day, that one moment, that one chance that to be the best in the entire world. Didn't you get that off a promo somewhere? No, I don't think so. Sounds familiar to me. Well, so does the word the. And fans are booing out James Light for attacking Armstrong. You probably feel that he turned his back on them. Yep. That's maybe the understatement of the year as well. Don't you... I'm chanting you suck to James Light. Only if they knew what Armstrong is really like. That's right, Iceberg does suck! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't think that's him. Oh, there goes the bell. We're about to be in this match. Oh. Wait, what, huh? James Light just wants to bully Iceberg. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to work. James like the bully. Hmm. <laughs> that, I don't, that's not going to work against Iceberg. Or just about anybody. <laughs> James Light's like definitely not the biggest, biggest guy in the, in the fight at all. Iceberg's definitely got the size advantage in this one. He's wrapping up in his switch and hold. It with the, start with a step over arm bar, and he grabs the leg. Yeah, Armstrong got James Light. And James Light struggling to get, get free. James oh. Light got this match earlier. Oh, he goes, got the ankle lock in. Appointed that got this match to become the number one contender then Armstrong got themselves a title shot for the become the number one contenders but James Light did not want that he just wanted the chance to become the world champion again that's true James Light's a five time NWF world heavyweight champion and Iceberg is tied for the record after winning the title twice this year to become a six time NWF world heavyweight champion and after some technical wrestling James like got advantage with the clotheslines so that snuck I Iceberg off guard. Oh. We're following Simone yeah. drop. Yeah. One, two. Two count only. Two, I think it was a little bit early in this match to get a pinfall, especially against Iceberg. I think it's more so a feeling out process right now. Yeah. These two really haven't had too many battles. So it's, yeah, it's new for both of them. The last time they've probably even faced each other has got to be at least three or four years ago. Yeah, a lot can change in those years, especially in the NWF. Well, hell, a lot's changed tonight. Who would have ever thought at the beginning of this night that the fans would be Ooh, chanting, you suck, to James Light? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that at all. Well, who'd have thought that the crowd and not just me would be saying that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought you'd agree with the crowd? <laughs> Damn fans. Well, at least they're smartening up. Go Tomahawkites. Go for a pin. He's way too close to the ropes. I think at this point you're kind of testing out, see how much energy you guys start out with. As you said, feeling each other out. Both of these guys should have their stamina built up pretty good. Yep. This time Not of conditioning. Yep. This time of the year, everybody's got their A games. 
Nobody wants to be the guy left off the collision course car. No, not at all. Bulldog. That might have jarred the neck there of James Light. The iceberg might have an opening here, working on that neck. Then to go for that deep freeze and score the victory. Yeah. Iceberg's not now on the advantage taken to James Light. See, we've seen this earlier tonight. And lots of times we see this wrestler's picking out body parts and attacking that part and weakening it and then destroying it to gain many victories. Well, a DET that goes for the neck as well. It's the head and neck. You can compress your neck vertebrae. One, two, three. Test, basically still testing out James Light's strength. I want to get him certain. I want to get him a little weak before he puts his finisher on him. Uh oh, something big's got to happen here, I imagine. James Light came back with that yeah. clothesline. I don't know what Iceberg was trying to go for, but. <laughs> Oh, Iceberg James, still too fresh yeah. and James Light well, still too worn down, especially from the neck moves and those traumatizing moves to the head. James Light's not always known for his great mat work, so Iceberg capitalized on it. James Light's mostly a brawler. Yep, and you can see how Iceberg has his foot neatly paced to hold that fist back. Yeah, and Iceberg's doing the one thing that James Light's strength is, is brawling with him. He needs to go back to that technical wrestling that he was doing earlier to gain the advantage back and score the victory. Well, he did have the good guard position, but James Light got reversed out of that. Oh, oh he, Was that the jumping jack? He just nailed the lights out. Oh, the lights out. Out of nowhere. I'm, oh. Now that's going to turn the tides of the match. This is, this match could very well be over here. If he could get over it, uh, too much time is cover. passing. Too much time. Let's see. Let's see what's happening here. He won the world title with this move last yeah, year. Yeah, he did. Oh, Iceberg got out of it. Don't you underestimate anybody's move. I mean, last year Houston reigned over the NWF supremely for ten straight months, and his title reign ended. At the biggest show of the year with that one move. Just the forehead. Yep, off the and it was off the top rope but partially. Now Houston definitely got the full brunt of that, and you never forget that move. Nope. And we won't forget either that the Owen Hunt Memorial pay-per-view last year, James Light took on Josh McMullen in a, a hardcore match. Yeah, we you know what happened at the end of that match with the lights out. Yeah, that was probably the biggest win in James Light's oh, career to that mark. point. Oh, that trademark. was a nice suplex. Vertical suplex by James Light. And James Light hit that lights out onto those thumbtacks on Josh McMullen yeah. to score the victory. He's going to be looking to do the same thing to Iceberg tonight. Oh, going, going for it again. Iceberg cannot sit there and be suplexed. Especially not by James Light. You can't no. take that too much. A smart move by James Light to pin him. Barry got the shoulder up. Barely at all. Iceberg needs to start bringing back an offense if he wants to survive in this match. James Light's going back to that brawling and, yeah. and striking style of his. And Iceberg tried covering his face, but not too, too effective. Look like James Light was waiting for Iceberg to get back to his feet, but he's trying to keep Iceberg down. Iceberg's very slow to get to his feet. He's been taking a good beating. James Light stalking Iceberg. Oh, he got, oh. Oh, got a kick to the face. Got a good crescent kick right to the face. Iceberg's so tired he's went to, for a pin. That could have very well been there. Yeah. There's a, Iceberg doesn't need to just hit the deep freeze to score a victory. Yeah. Now Iceberg going for some suplexes of his own. That looked like it might have damaged James Light's hip on that one. Yep, he's doing, giving James Light a taste of his own medicine. Picks him up again. 
oh. another vertical suplex. And it looked like he landed on his hip again. Is it going to be the third one? There we go. Iceberg still rolling around. Yep, he still keeps on going to the well for the vertical suplex, and he keeps on doing it. I don't think Iceberg knows when to let go. We're talking about James Light, or Iceberg not let James Light do this. Yeah. James Light can't let Iceberg constantly yeah. do this either. Yeah. And James Light is reversing it to a spinning neck breaker. Oh, there we go. I think both these guys are down. After that many suplexes in the spinning neck breaker. Now it seems like James Light's starting to attack the neck of Iceberg. Because as we saw already, James Light's move attacks that neck yeah. too. And stuns the whole body by shutting down that system for just enough time to get that win. No, oh, these guys are worn out. Tom Smith, this is another match I don't know who to root for. Can, can I hope for a draw? <laughs> maybe I'll get in there and sneak in a win. <laughs> maybe, maybe cause it to be a no contest. Maybe we can get Jobs and Glacier the world title. It's a kind of grueling fight. It's like, it's like, give up your shot to make a big torture cord. It's like James like scissoring the arm. They think he's trying to get into an arm bar there. Yeah, he's got the arm bar locked in. That referee's asking a good point, or making a good point by asking them, Ice Iceberg, if he wants to give up and give up that chance to main event the uh, collision course, the biggest show of the year. Because it's one thing to give up, but there's no, it's another thing to give up that chance. Yeah, there's just so much on the line. The title. The glory it can make a legacy. Career. It makes careers and legends. Right now, Iceberg stats and title reigns and just everything it says Hall of Famer all over it. But you cannot be an NWF Hall of Famer with zero wins at Collision Course. I mean, that's that's our biggest stage. That's where all the biggest names come out and shine. DT yep. still Long continuing neck. that neck attack. Yeah. One, two, one, oh. two. Iceberg kind of snuck one out right then and there. That was close. That's that was all, very close. That all, that's all it takes is a slip, slip up and a one, two, three. Three seconds isn't that long yeah. when you think about Especially it. Especially now in the smash, both these guys have been taking a lot of moves. They're both worn out. Oh, just almost wild swings with their connecting. Now we got a uh, slugfest breaking out. Iceberg seems to be getting the better of yeah. the James Light. But they're both tired out. I don't know how long, much longer this can last. Both of them are getting tired. Iceberg went for the deep freeze and missed. He crashed and burned. This is bad for Iceberg. Bad for Iceberg. Now James Light is definitely going to capitalize on this. With a splash. Driving all of his 200 pounds on top of the cap chest cavity of Iceberg. That death from above could have easily ended this match right now. Well, this match can end at any time on submission hold. Iceberg. It's some kind of weird choking, iceberg. choking cross face like almost. A single arm cross iceberg. face maybe. Would you like to give up your shot at Collision Court's main event? Once again, the referee reminding Iceberg what's at stake. Yep. What do you say, Attacks iceberg? your back, your shoulders. Not, not as effective in, as up? a sleeper hold. I'll ring the bell. You say the word. Oh, James Light decides to let go of that move before yeah. Iceberg could break well, it. Well, he looks like he might have went. Maybe he's considering the lights out now. That is Europe, the up, European uppercut connected really well. And Iceberg's out. So, oh, yep, he's going for that. Like going for the lights out. No, no the Iceberg ducked the clothesline. It was that arm Armstrong. 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 Armstrong just nailed James out from behind and Iceberg hit the deep freeze. Oh, and Iceberg got it. Iceberg got it. He's going to collision course. Oh, this is the biggest, probably the biggest win in Iceberg's career, even though he's been a multi-time world champion. Yep. But he is going to main event collision course yep. 7. It's going to be big for his crazy. Either go face Josh Munn or Hypnosis, whatever happens later tonight. But this is a big win for Iceberg. The biggest. The only thing bigger would be winning at collision course. Yep. 
That's the next step. Oh, it looks like James Knight is pissed. Probably at Armstrong. Now, I want to thank everyone in the town, including you here, Eric. You brought the energy that got me out of the mission holes. I'm tough for you, Armstrong. You son of a bitch. Now, I don't know what to call him, James Knight, but I was prepared for you. And you did put up the fight I was expecting. So, I hope you did our demon control. And I want to thank my strong ice men, my fine ice women. Yeah, you can tell us Ms. Lock during this match this is winning. You. For all of you. He dedicated the match to his fine ice women and strong ice men. So your wife and you? No, I think that make, that takes the majority of the crowd at we at the end of the arena. You can hear them cheering. And there, there's Eric. I think Eric just is tired from getting the crowd all rowdy for Iceberg. Looks sweaty to me. Yeah, well, if you, if you hear how rowdy and loud that crowd is, it must be crazy in there. I don't think I could handle being in that crowd tonight. Go make his career happen at Collision Course.